So let's create a smart contract. Smart contracts are one of the most exciting features of blockchains. In this one, we're going to create a million tokens. Now, these tokens could be issued like shares in a company, or you could consider them as a currency. Now, of course, if you consider them a currency, you're going to run into legal issues. So we're going to create a million tokens. To do this, we're going to write a smart contract in Solidity. That's the compiler of Ethereum. Now, we're going to use Remix in the browser to compile and deploy that contract. And we're going to need to load up MetaMask as well to help us talk to the Ethereum blockchain. So let's take a look first at Remix. So here we need to go to remix.org. And what we'll see is when we start, we need to set up a default workspace. I've done that here. And we're going to need to create a file that is in the Solidity language. So I'm going to create token.sol here. And here's the code. Now we're going to need a number of functions that can be called. So for example, we're going to need to be able to transfer these tokens once we've created them. And we're going to call our token Mega Carble, And here we can define the supply. We could create a billion or 20 billion, 100 billion, just by changing this number here. Okay, so we need to compile that. So we go to the compiler, we choose whichever version we want. I'll choose the latest here and we'll compile it by just clicking here. So we'll see this tick mark and that means it's compiled successfully. So now we need to deploy it. And so I come down here to deploy and run and we need first to choose inject web three. So we're choosing this because we're going to talk to MetaMask. And this will be my account. Now, this account is going to come from MetaMask. And so we need to load the MetaMask extension into the Chrome browser. So here I click on my extensions and bring up MetaMask. And we'll see this is my account and I can copy the account number just by clicking on it here. And we can choose the network and we could talk to the Ethereum main network, in which case we'd have to use real ethers, but we're going to use the Rinkeby test network. So that's what's going to happen when we make contact via this injected web three that actually is talking to MetaMask. Okay. So here now we can deploy. So let's go ahead and deploy. And we see here that the token is pending. See the pending here? So what that means is now we need to approve it in MetaMask. So we go to MetaMask and we'll see that I need to confirm that transaction. It's pending here. So it's, it's getting deployed now. And now we have it. It's deployed. Now if I scroll down here on Remix, we'll see that I've got a number of transactions. Let's check this one. This is the latest transaction. So here we see the functions that the smart contract has developed. So we can transfer these tokens. Let's take a look at the symbol. So here we see it's a mega carbon symbol. Let's now go back to MetaMask. And here we've got MetaCarble and the balance. We'll add the tokens in. And here you see we've got a million of these tokens. Now what I want to do is I want to transfer some of these to Able. Staying in my account here, I need to send these to Able. This is his public key. So now I go back to my account and I send to Able. And now I can choose what I want to send. I'm going to send these. This was the latest. And I've got a million there. And the number I'm going to send, let me send him 2,999. 
OK, confirm that transaction. You'll see it's pending. OK, that's done. Let's go and look at Abel's account now. We'll see that he now has 2,999. So Abel has got those tokens. If I go back and look at my account, you'll see that now I have this number. So the transaction has been successful. So you see that these smart contracts are very powerful and that we can create our own tokens, our own currency, if you like, quite easily and quickly. Okay, bye for now.